There are almost 3,000 Satanists in Australia, so I want to know what it is that draws them to this religion. Soon, I'll be taking part in a ritual and asking Satan, I think, to help me make my life better in a very specific way. Instead of a destructive curse, David will use some of Satanism's good magic. Where's the ritual going to be? Okay, it's going to be up in a unnamed mountain somewhere um, amongst the, the forests of Wollongong. And uh, so it's a secluded area. Yeah, it should be interesting. So I'm quite excited because obviously I want to do a ritual for myself to mm -hmm. achieve something that I've wanted to achieve for a while, yep. um, which is to get into like a meaningful relationship. I feel like all the relationships I've been in have been quite short term, like all like six months or less. Yep. So I guess just trying to find someone that I can experience a meaningful relationship, relationship with. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This is the time in this, 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 this formalized way to channel and harness that goal and make it manifest. To do that, I'm about to get a quick crash course on what's involved at the ritual. There's the bell to open the ceremony, a small sharp sword, a copy of the Satanic Bible, of course, this thing, which is a Baphomet, and a chalice made out of a human skull. These are the tools we're going to use in this ritual. Here's where the fantasy comes into play. And amongst the, the, the candles and the flames and the ambience of the forest, trust me, you'll get this primitive, primal feeling of like, there's other things out here. Also about the ritual, if you can, wear black. All black. All okay. black. All cool. black. It's because you're channeling the forces of darkness, <laughs> wearing salmon pink. No, Doesn't this, this quite work. Or... This may not cut it. So we're going to meet David. He's setting up the ritual. He said it was only like 15 minutes into the bush, but we've been walking for about half an hour or so. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. Just trees and no one around. I've been stitched up here. The walk was more a trek and 15 minutes is more like 45. It is deep, deep inside a forest, up a mountain, light is fading, and I'm getting nervous. Ooh, like I thought I just stepped on something. Hey David. I thought I told you to wear black. I know, I, I didn't come prepared. All right, fair enough. I don't look sufficient. All right, well, now you're dressed for the part, we'll uh, start the fires and then we'll begin the ritual. This area has been used a number of times by David for ceremonies, although the wet wood and dodgy fire starters makes for a pretty slow start. Oh, it's going out. Yeah. Oh, I here, Satan. We are on. David is really embracing his role as satanic priest of this ritual. Thank you. All right. Ready to go? Yes. Let's do, do it. this ritual. In nomine Dei Nostri, Satanus, Luciferi Excelsi. In the name of Satan, the ruler of the earth, the king of the world, I command the forces of darkness to bestow their infernal power upon us. Open wide the gates of hell and come forth from the abyss to greet us as your brothers and friend. Hear the names. Ishtar, Whore of Babylon, Pan, Eros, Come forth and manifest Kieran's wish, his goals, his passion, this night and forevermore. Shall drink of the chalice. Kieran, partake. Thank you. The whole thing. As much as works for you. 
place it on the altar when you're done. Satan to the self, the Lord of fire, the abyss and passion, come forth, hear me. It's really easy to get caught up in the performance of the ritual and forget I'm standing deep in a forest with someone I'd only met hours ago holding a knife. Kieran, I give you the sword and focus your energy and your goals towards the Baphomet. So I just point it up like this. Just point it straight up. Stand right in front of the altar. Nice. This is for you. Dead on. Say what you desire. So I talk? Just go for it. I want a meaningful relationship. I want one that is going to give me happiness, that is going to be of substance, and that is going to be long term. Hey, all say. Wait, you're here now. That's fine, that's fine. If you can end it whenever you want. Hail oh, yeah. Satan and so forth. If you want to do that, just there is a term called Shemham Farash. Yeah. So if you want to say Shemham Farash and then Hail Satan. Shemham Farash. Shemham for Ash. Shemham Farash. Shemham Farash. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Nabare. Mahahake, das Boriano, Vaxorane Loremano. By all the gods of the pit, the fallen goddesses of lusciousness and desire, who come forth and manifest this desire, and Kira shall indulge in his delight. Shemham Farash! Hail Satan! So it is done. Okay, the ritual's done. So, how'd you feel? Oh, just such a big adrenaline rush. Like, you know, I was, I was in the moment, you know, you just sort of forget about everything else and like the blood's flowing and yeah, it's, it's powerful. Like, you know, there's nothing else around and you're just so focused on what's going on it feels powerful like you feel like you're part of something and exactly. something is happening even though you're not you're not seeing anything around you you know exactly exactly you're just focusing your subconscious and it's making it manifest in your subconscious so it's just going to start appearing and things will start manifesting in the real world and you'll start thinking hang on is that just coincidence just go with it don't question it indulge man that's what it all is about It's now been three months since the ritual, and I've been indulging a lot, hanging in my apartment's pool, out with friends, out with no friends, but my manifestation for a meaningful relationship, still waiting for that. Satanism surprised me. I went in thinking it was all about worshipping the devil, but it's not. Satanists don't believe in the devil, God, heaven, hell, anything. Satanists like David believe you are in control of your own universe, which is great. But I still can't get my mind around the fact that David thinks one of his curses may have ended someone's life, and he seems fine with that. There's definitely a lesson in living for now and putting yourself first, but at what cost?